Hey, what's up, boys and girls? It's your boy, Psychedelic Webcam Max, coming to you live from the webcam on my laptop, which, for the record, works perfectly. Now, for today's video, I'm going to be taking that little piece of meteorite that I forged out in the last video and turning that into a piece of Damascus steel, and then from there, going into a knife. Should be a pretty cool video. Um, video quality is going to be a little bit funky, but I think that's okay. I think it'll be fun. It'll be an adventure, so thanks for watching. Okay, so my first step was just to take um, all my plates of metal that were going to form my layers in the initial stack and clean up the surfaces on the grinder real quick. So I took that little plate of meteor iron that I forged in the last video, I cut that in half into two plates, and then took three slightly thicker pieces of high carbon steel and just jumped on the grinder, rub all the scale off of those pieces, and get them nice and clean so I can get a good solid initial weld. Next step is just to go to the welder real quick and pack all those plates together and then stick a handle on the end so I have something to hold on to for the initial forge weld. Now ideally I'd really like to do a project like this in the, uh, in the gas oil forge, but considering that it's a project for, the cus for a customer, um, I'm just not practiced enough yet welding in the gas forge, so I'm just going to do it in the coal forge. It's a small enough piece that it should be pretty easy, and this is what I'm comfortable with. If it were just a piece for myself, a practice piece, I'd be more comfortable trying something new, but I want to make sure that this works for a customer. So hopefully in the future I can do projects like this uh, without the coal forge, but for now... Right now I'm just hammering uh, on the billet a little bit real quick to close up any gaps that might be there between the layers and then flexing the billet. After this, then I'll be ready for the actual welding heat. That's a little more like an actual welding heat. Then I'm going to go over to the horn of the anvil, uh, thin the bar out a little bit, stretch it out, and then from there I'm ready to cut and fold, restack and reweld. Just raise my layer count a little bit before I go on to twisting and manipulating the pattern. Then I drew out that bar and forged it out to about half an inch round. Then finally I was ready to start doing some twisting. I did definitely twist a little colder than I should have though, which ended up causing some slight problems later. Having reviewed some of the footage from yesterday, I think it's actually higher quality than the stuff I was recording on my old camera, especially the audio, so probably ultimately a good thing that I'm ending up having to replace that and that my little camera crapped out on me. So anyways, got this bar uh, all forged out, twist almost done, I'm gonna push this twist back a little bit further with one more heat there, get that hammered square so I got something to hold on to when I twist the other half the opposite direction. And we will be ready to cut 
and restack that around this piece, my second little plate of meteorite. So, coming along pretty nicely. I'm only about an hour of work in so far and actually forging this Damascus, so it's going pretty well, going pretty fast. I do have a delamination uh, right there. Gonna have to be a little bit careful working that the rest of the time, but I should be able to close it up. We still have a lot of shaping to go from here, so that's plenty of opportunity to uh, re-weld that shut. I'll just make sure it always works that area nice and hot, and I think we'll be all right. more welding you'll notice that I left it open down at this end only tacked it together down this side that's just so I can keep track of where my uh, weld metal is just so I can make sure none of that ends up in the final bar all of it so far since because of the way I folded it over it's all ended up right down at this end so I can snip off the last little bit of this bar and that'll keep my metal nice and clean for the final product Okay, so at this point I seem to have lost a little bit of footage, but basically I've just reached the point where I have, you know, three bars going down the length of the bar. Uh, my twisted metal, meteorite, and twisted metal on the other side of that. Then I took that bar, cut it in half down the middle, and then restacked one more time with those two pieces on either side of a plate of 1095 high carbon steel that's going to form the core of the blade and is going to be exposed along the side as the cutting edge. Alright, so at this point I've really started to reach the limits of damaged iPhone 7 video recording. So the sound quality on this clip wasn't really salvageable. But basically, um, if you see that dark edge, or that dark line that's running up the edge of that bar, that's just where I've polished and done a quick etch. Uh, and that is the 1095. So I'm going to go in on the grinder at about a 45 degree angle and just grind up to that dark line. So that way when I forge to the final blade dimensions, the entire edge of that knife is going to be only that 1095 steel. Now here you can see I have all the pieces rough forged to shape, blade and the handle scales all forged, so from here basically just grinding work. Um, the only piece I have left to fabricate is the locking mechanism that's going to pin on a pivot across the back of the knife, and you can see where I've drawn out the profile on paper of the bottom of the blade and the shape I'm going to need to make that so that it'll accept the locking me mechanism. Um, other than that, I just have to kind of eyeball the pieces, grind them to a shape that looks good, and then grind the blade so that it also looks good and will you know, uh, fit down inside of the space that's provided by the shape of those handle scales. Also, on a side note here, I discovered I can run my forge off of corn. So that's actually how I did the final... Uh, leg of the forging. So I shaped the blade and made those handle scales just with a pure corn fire, just whole grain corn from the feed store. So if anybody's interested in that, I could do another little video on that sometime. Grinder. Grind it all roughly to shape. Yeah, here I have all the grinding pretty much done. You can see the locking mechanism locking pretty nicely, solidly into the back of the blade. I did a little bit of simple engraving on the handle scales. Just picture this for about two hours and you have a pretty good idea of what that looks like. The 
The result is definitely worth it, though. Now jumping back in the corn forge one more time for the heat treat on the blade. quick fire scale patina on the handle scales. And here's the blade fully polished up to 600 grit and a final fit up on all the pieces before I pin them together. And there we are. Fit finished. Etched polished. Everything finished up put together and ready to ship out. Let's get a close up on that blade. I gotta say I'm pretty pleased with how this one turned out. Even if I didn't enjoy filming the whole thing, it was fun to make, fun project. So uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.